before. Hey, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. I'm here with my wooden dummy, or as a lot of you guys know as a mukjong. Uh, I don't care what you call it. Uh, it's the, in English, I'll call it the device that I use to condition my hand speed and my bone strength. <laughs> right. Translate that into Chinese. But seriously, it's called the mukjong. In Mandarin, they call it the mu ren zhuang. So the mu is the fourth tone, and the ren is the second tone and the zhuang is the first tone, and really it means a wooden man post. So whether you do Wing Chun, whether you do Shaolin, and you use one of these, it's very good for training the bone strength in the arms and the legs, but also in training coordination, in training rhythm, in training hand speed, and I'm gonna show you guys three different techniques that will link together that a beginner should use when you're first starting to practice with a Mu Ren Zhuang. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're going to position ourselves to the wooden man and we're going to, we're not going to be afraid to use our body. Okay, so I don't want you guys to stand here and <laughs> do all arms. Because in reality, my arms are only so big, but my waist and my core is much, much stronger, much, much bigger. So I want to use my waist and my core for coming in against this thing. So the first move is just what I just did. We're going to hit the radius low and the ulna high and then switch it. So my goal is to condition the parts of my, of my body in terms of the bones that I would use in a fight, okay? So um, we all saw UFC 168, we saw Anderson Silva break his shin, and a broken shin can be because of many reasons, okay? Not just weak bones, but also because of the situation. So we wanna give ourselves the best chance possible to keep our bones strong, even if we're in a fight. So we're gonna go on the high, radius low. On the radius, on the radius. Use the body, use the body. Period. I got this nice sand here so I can really anchor my legs in the sand. One, two, back, forth. A thousand times. I'll be back in five minutes. 997, 998, 999, 1000. Okay, there's a thousand. So, next, what we're gonna try is we're gonna go under and over. And this move is gonna be great for clearing the arms of an opponent up and creating an opening coming in. So up and then hooking down. And the human body has different handles. Handles of the neck, handles of the back of the arms. We've done some videos on our channel, check them out, on handles and how to actually hook into these handles like a wrestler would. I went to a wrestling tournament yesterday and I got to see some really good wrestling. Arms, neck, things like that. Or neck, arms. So we're gonna come up and clear, hook down, up, hook, up, hook, up, hook, using the legs, up, hook, a thousand times for this. 998, 999, 1000. The next, the third area is gonna be using the forearms to clear. So we're gonna clear up and out, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in. So this is when somebody's coming at you with a choke or a frontal attack and we're clearing out or we're pressing in, out, in. And in this sense, you could use your ulna and your radius, but I like conditioning both at the same time on this. So I'm doing both bones together, both bones together, back, hit. And this deflection is very similar to in our white crane system when we deflect with the back of the wrist. So in, out, in, out. Let's do a thousand of these. My legs are in a good position. 992, 3, 4, 5, 996, 997, 998, 999, 1000. That's 3000 strikes. Okay, let's do them all together. So we have the first one, radius and ulna. Second one, clearing up and down. Third one, clearing out and in. Radius, ulna. High, low on the handles. Out block, in block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In, out, up, down, out, in, in, out, up, down, out, in, in, out, up, down, out, in. Do this a thousand times. Using the body. 
1,000. Then give me five times with a lot of speed. Is that four? That's good for beginners. I want you guys to work on this daily. Maybe after two or three days of training in a row of the same muscle groups or bone groups, give yourself one day of rest so you can recover. Don't forget, when you work out, especially in the martial arts, you get weaker as you work out, but your strength will come from the rest or recovery in between workouts, so give yourself enough rest. I'll see you guys next time with some more with our Mu Ren Zhuang or Wooden Man Post.